Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond Dispatch with me, Bhairavi Singh. A lot lined up on the show, including the latest on a key election underway in Jammu and Kashmir and a major decision by the Union Cabinet on elections. All of this here. Let's get started with the headlines. The first phase of the Assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir draws to a close with over 58% voter turnout recorded as of 5 p.m. As the Indian Cabinet accepts recommendations on One Nation, One Election, the opposition party is hit out saying the concept can't work in a democracy. The bill will be tabled in the winter session of Parliament. The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken says facts are still being put together on the page of blast incident rules out Washington's involvement, stressing that the U.S. is keen to avoid an escalation. Romania calls on NATO to enact a robust and coordinated response to incidents in which Russian missiles or drones fired at Ukraine enter the alliance's airspace. NATO countries bordering Russia have repeatedly raised concerns on the issue. Japan says the passage of a Chinese aircraft carrier between two of its islands near Taiwan for the first time is quote-unquote totally unacceptable, says it has expressed serious concerns to the Chinese side through diplomatic channels. Warnings issued in Nigeria of potential flooding in 11 states. Neighboring Cameroon says it's starting to release water from one of its largest dams following recent heavy rainfall in western central Africa. The dollar has retreated against the yen as investors adjust ahead of a pivotal Federal Reserve meeting where a 50 basis point interest rate cut is expected. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.